So house prices are going up and people's patience is going down. They are looking for affordable housing and having a tough time right now. And today we are gonna be touring a house over in Cleveland, Ohio. It is incredibly close to downtown. And this house that we're gonna be checking out today has four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it comes in just over 1600 square feet. Now at the price that it's offered at, it's gonna need some work. So you are gonna to have to keep that in mind if you are thinking about moving to this area. However, the price is hard to beat. Now the location of this home is in walking distance from the Cleveland Clinic. So if you find yourself with a position in the area or at the Cleveland Clinic in specific, it's a perfect opportunity for you to not have a far commute by any means. Now along with close proximity to the Cleveland Clinic, you also are gonna have pretty quick access to the University Circle along with Cleveland Heights. And there you're gonna do a lot of shopping as far as retail, grocery, and restaurants. There are some really cool opportunities to go check out in that area so i definitely recommend it if you are in the vicinity of those two areas now being so close to main campus you're also going to have incredibly easy access to get to downtown cleveland and there if you find yourself in the area you're going to have endless opportunities as far as activities go you can do anything from going to hang out by the lake to just going and seeing all the attractions that bring in visitors from the outside and those types of places include the rock hall science museum places like the house of blues the arcade downtown there's just a bunch of different really cool buildings that you can go check out. Now, if you will find yourself wanting to get into the nature side of Cleveland, you have the opportunity to go to a small park called Forest Hill, and it is a really cool area to go relax. However, if you want some more opportunity, you are really close to the Cuyahoga Valley National Park, where you're gonna have miles and miles of hiking, along with really cool areas just to go relax and have a picnic and just enjoy those warm summer days. Now, if you're looking to move to the Cleveland area, definitely reach out to me. All of my contact information is down in the description. My name is Sam Oler and I'm your Cleveland area realtor. But with all that being said, let's go take a look at this house. So starting off the video a little bit different than normal, we are on the third floor of this house and there is an unfinished area that you could probably finish and make a little bit extra living space. But if you don't, it's just gonna act as storage that leads you into the second floor. Now where you land on the second floor is at the top of the staircase. So you have quick access to get to the first floor from that area or you could work your way over into the bedrooms. Now this setup is a common area in this section. You could use it as a bedroom, but you would have to walk through it to get to another bedroom and that would make it a little bit weird in my opinion, but this bedroom that is off to the right has an ensuite and this ensuite is in pretty good condition. You've got a bath, a small sink and a toilet. So it is pretty convenient to have this on the second floor. Now most of these houses are not going to have it on the second floor or they are only going to have it on the second floor. This house has the nice addition to having one on the first floor as well. Now as we're working our way towards the front of the house we are going to have the second and third bedroom. Now this is another setup to where you're going to have to walk through one room to get to the other if you set it up as two bedrooms. However, it has the opportunity to be one large bedroom where you could have a bed space and then a separate living space to just kind of have a sitting area or maybe a office area. So now we're going to start working our way back to where we were at and go down to the first floor. Now this house has a lot of opportunity as far as walkability goes. You are within really close walking distance to the Cleveland Clinic. So that is going to come in really handy if you do work in that area. Now. This house is going to need a little bit of work. It's in a little bit better condition than some of the others in the area, but you are definitely gonna to need to do a little bit of work before you can move into it. Now, as we start to land on the first floor, we're gonna go into the kitchen and the kitchen is going to have a little bonus room off the back and that is gonna have access to the basement, but we will go down into there in a little bit. And off to that, you are going to have a bathroom. Now this is a full bathroom and it's not in the greatest condition, so you're probably going to want to redo it before you move in. However, it is a good opportunity because you don't normally see these bathrooms on the first floor. Now, as we start to work our way back into the kitchen, there is going to be another bedroom off of the kitchen. And this is kind of a weird setup in my opinion, but at least you have that first floor bedroom. So that way, if you are not mobile enough to get up the stairs, you have the ability to just do complete first floor living. Now, back through the kitchen we are going to work our way into the living space and there is a cracked window in here and then you have a little bay window which is kind of nice you can have decorations sitting up on it and over in through the living room you are going to have a little dining room area or you could have it as another sitting space i would probably use it as a dining room more or less just because it's nice to have that table for everyone to gather at for meals now we're going to start working our way down towards the basement and that was in that bonus room off of the kitchen that I mentioned earlier. 
and down the stairs you are going to notice when we get down here that the floor is peeling i don't know what happened here and it the only thing i can really think of is like some sort of like toxic substance spilled but the floor is peeling like they spilled aircraft remover pretty much everywhere so i've never seen anything like that but that is just something to keep in mind now this basement is in decent condition otherwise the the furnace looked all right and the electric looked brand new and we'll see the hot water tank in here in a minute now as i am going through this you also have some new plumbing and that is throughout the house so that is convenient to have you don't have to worry about any old leaks or anything and this looks like a newer furnace but i'm not 100 percent sure and it's definitely a newer hot water tank however it is leaking like crazy so you are definitely going to want to get that fixed now this house also has the cpvc plumbing so you might want to just redo everything with PEX while you are in here doing the work that you are going to be doing before. Now here is your gas entrance to the house and all the lines are still connected so you don't have to worry about that. It's just going to be that little bit of work that is paint and patching walls and stuff on the first floor. If you made it this far into the video, I want to say thank you. It shows that you might be looking to move to the Cleveland area. And if you are, I definitely recommend reaching out to me. All of my contact information along with my social media is down in the description. But if it makes it a little bit easier for you, you can feel free to call or text me here. And if you find yourself down in the description, checking out my social media, before you go, make sure you click that like button because it is going to help me out a ton. But with all that being said, I'll catch you in the next video.